So you have done your loops on your fabric or cloth or t-shirt and they look like this. So far you have not cut anything. So hold this like that. Now you need to make sure that you sew across this line. If you have a sewing machine, just put it and pull through. In the meantime, you're using a sewing needle like this. So, I, so what we need to do now is cut this and this and this and this. Um. <laughs> So that this distance equals this, and then I'm going to loop this. So assuming that's all you need. So do not cut anything yet. Take your needle and your sewing thread. Make a knot. So you have done your loops. On your fabric or cloth or t-shirt and they look like this so far you have not cut anything so hold this like that now you need to make sure that you sew across this line if you have a sewing machine just put it and pull through in the meantime you're using a sewing needle like this so i will just make a, a back stitch so i will insert this here and then through here so i am using black because it is visible with these colors so like that then I will go back to that hole. Then I'm going to come out here. So as you can see with this thread, when I pull, those have been held together. And then I'm going to insert here again. I'm going to insert through here so that this thread is going to hold this thread together. So I'm going to insert this through my fabric like that. And then I'm going to pull that. So let me show you. So when you pull, you see those ones have been held together like that. If you like when you're done going this way, you can go back. So in case you lose track, just go back and size them like that. So make sure that all the threads, the white and green threads have been tied close to the fabric. So you insert your needle here and then through this line. And then you're going to pull. So that has been held in place and then you insert your needle like this and then through this hole just making sure that everything is okay and the same size so if you pull that like that so when you're done stitching your loops they are going to look like this we have not cut yet and the others the underside is going to look like this so make sure that you tie your sewing thread so that it does not come loose. So insert. And then cut. And now here comes the fun part. So as it is, it does not look like this. So what we need to do is cut through this. So what we need to do now is cut this and this and this and this. And then there you go. So this now looks like this. So if you're using a color that is not so visible, so I was using black so that you can see how the stitches look like and also when I was looping how it looked like. But if you're using a color like white, then it's not going to be visible. You see for the glue gun, it's not visible. You just see that it is stuck to the fabric, cloth or t-shirt, but it's not visible. So, so this is how I made this. So you see the stitch, I have the back stitch, this one and this one and this one. So this one is very full. So all you need to do is to draw maybe another line close by so that by the time you're done and then it's going to be fluffy and full like this one please watch maggie's diy rags it's the playlist i have put in this channel it has all sorts of shaggy rags and how to make them like this one so this is when you mix colors and then you're making this shaggy rag on a fabric like this one or cloth and then you can have you will see also the video on how to make such a fluffy rag while also using fabric and then there's how to make this fluffy one, this fluffy rug. It looks like the one I had made on sack, except that I made this using a cloth or fabric. 
so i will show you how to make this also also there is a video on how to make a shaggy rag using the matte mesh different types of matte meshes and also how to use a crochet like if you do not have the fabric and you do not have the sack material and you do not have the matte mesh then you can use just your thread alone and in that case some of the tools you might need so some of the tools you might need when you want to make your DIY rag could be the normal crochet especially if you're not using any of the matte mesh or sack or fabric you will need to use only this crochet or you can use this latch yeah sorry I got colored from my pen so you can use this latch crochet this is when you have a matte mesh like this one and then you might need sewing needles sewing needle and sewing thread when you're using fabric or cloth or t-shirt to make your shaggy rag so watch this playlist if you want to see how you can make your fluffy rag your rag your math your diy rag whatever you call it so watch this playlist to see how you can make whatever you want thank you for watching please subscribe and comment if you're facing any challenges please leave a comment if you us if your rag came out nicely please show us and leave a comment in the comment section we can actually put some of those comments on facebook on my facebook page and facebook group or instagram or twitter called maggie's diy world so if you cannot attach an image on youtube on the comment section just join facebook my facebook group maggie's diy world also facebook page twitter instagram they go by the same name maggie's diy world so you can post there your comments or your images and encourage each other